We've all had curry for breakfast, haven't we? But it's normally left over from the night before. But this is a spicy salmon kedgeree. And if you've not tried it before, it's absolutely delicious. The ingredients you're gonna need are tinned salmon, rice, a stock cube, some eggs, an onion, curry powder, frozen peas, some lemon juice. The equipment that you're gonna need is a high-sided frying pan, a saucepan, sieve, bowl, tin foil, wooden spoon, knife, and a slotted spoon, and a brick mug. First thing we're gonna do, get our pan on the heat, and then we're gonna dice up your onion. Cut it in half, peel it, slice through it, and slice through it the other way. Splash of oil. And turn the heat up just a little. I'm just gonna gently kind of sweat that down. And at this point, I'm gonna stick in two teaspoons of medium curry powder and then give it a stir. A kedgeree is seen as a super British dish. And it, I think it comes from the time of the Raj, and it's a delicious dish. You know, it works as breakfast, it works as brunch. I mean, it's perfect for tea time as well, let's be honest. This recipe feeds four people, and for that, you're gonna need one mug of rice. Rinse it through cold water to wash off some of the starches. Give it a good stir and let it start to coat with the flavours that are coming from that curry powder. And at this point, I'm going to put in the stock cube, crumble it up. And this is the great way of cooking rice. Remember, this is one cup of rice. It's going to be two cups of water. I'm just going to bring it up to the boil because we are going to bake this in the oven. Right, rice is up to the boil. Tin foil goes on the top. Say hello, Jack. Hello. Can you, can you not see yourself in it? Hello. The other side's even duller. It's like your personality. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to just stick it in the oven until all of the water's been absorbed and the rice is lovely and cooked. Right going to do some boiled eggs to go with our kedgeree. This is where the slotted spoon is nice, because if you drop them in too fast, the shell will crack, right? But this way, you can just drop them in, nice and gentle-like. I'm going to put the timer on for eight minutes. Eight minutes are done. Come to the sink. Pour the water away against the side of the sink, right? So the eggs don't roll out of the pan, OK? Leave it there with the water running for a couple of minutes or until the sound man gets fed up with the sound of water running. Is that about right? Give it a little roll it. The shell crunches all the way through the middle and then it's easy to just kind of like peel it off. Got four beautifully done semi-soft boiled eggs. So after 25 minutes, The smell is fantastic, but we're not finished yet. Get a mug's worth of frozen peas, give it a good stir, and that heat from the rice is going to defrost and warm these peas through. And then next into that, tinned salmon. Great thing is it's already cooked. And it is pretty pocket friendly, that's for sure. And then just gently kind of fold it through. You can actually smell the, the kind of lovely salmon flavours mixing with the curry. It make you really go, oh, I can't wait to taste this. The smell part of cookery is one of the most important things that happen. Little drizzle of lemon juice. And that's it. I mean, how easy was that rice to cook? Proper hearty and healthy portion here. If you've not had it before, I urge you, give it a go because it is lovely. You can share your full-time meal on the hashtag full-time meals and follow our page on Instagram.